I want to say thank you guys before I start the vlog for all of you that purchased tickets to our hands-on class uh, this coming September 12th in New Hope, Pennsylvania. There's a ton of you guys out there that have purchased tickets from all over the country. Um, so I just want to say thank you for that and I'm looking forward to meeting all of you guys. Let's get started. Here's our vlog. Here we go. Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. Today what we're going to focus on is a men's haircut. And the cool thing about today's cut is that there's not really any disconnection. So it's a very uh, versatile cut that you can do multiple times in the salon. This is the cut that we're doing today. We're focusing on a men's business type haircut. Um, you guys have been asking for that for quite a while. So I figured today, um, why not do it? So uh, that's the cut we're doing today. I think you're gonna like it. I think you're gonna take a lot from the technique. Make sure if you do, let me know in the comments below. Also hit the like button on this video if you do like it. And here we go, let's get started. All right guys, so we're gonna start off by parting on the left-hand side. This is where you wanna figure out where your guest parts their hair. So if the guy parts it on the left, then part on the left. If he parts on the right, then build it off of the right. Uh, we're gonna create a triangle section on the top going from back mid-crown uh, down to just below the recession point of the head. And then I'm gonna create a small triangle um, on the opposite side, just below the part, which will give me a little bit of that weight that I can play with later. So you can see that little triangle there. There's the bigger triangle line coming across the head. Now I'm gonna go in and prep the hair for clipper cutting. I like to do this with a comb, a blow dryer, and just go through and smooth the hair out in the direction that I wanna cut it. So this, I wanna work the hair kind of back off of the face, so I blow dry it that way. We're using our Andis Supra ZR, and I'm gonna go through and just take out the bulk first. So this is the YS Park 209 comb. I'm gonna use that to go through. It's got nice wide teeth, it's got a nice handle on it. It's great for barber cutting, clipper over comb cutting. Um, so I'm going to work with that comb pretty much throughout the bottom part of this haircut. So again, like I said, we're going through just cutting the bulk out. The reason I'm doing that is because it just makes it easier when I go through and do my clipper cutting later uh, with a guard. So I'm not working with as much hair. So we're going to use our four guard and I'm going to use the blade completely open. Open means at the widest point and then closed would be the shortest point on the clipper. So I'm going to go through, I'm going to do a scooping motion. You can see that I follow the head shape a little bit and then I allow the curve of the head to kind of be where I pull that clipper out. What that's going to do is give me more of a graduated feel, give me a little extra length around the corner, um, around the parietal ridge area, and it starts to build that weight line. Now you want to decide how much of a weight line you want to have uh, based on what type of cut you're going for with your guy. This one, I don't want to have an extreme weight line, and that's why I have those uh, the top sectioned off because that's going to be where the majority of my weight line is. So I just run that clipper up, build the weight line slightly, and then I'm going to build into it later on. So watch the clipper as it goes up, and this is the angle I'm going to show you with the comb that I'm taking with the clipper. So I go up into the hair, and then I ride that crown out. What that's going to do is give me extra weight in the back, which I'm going to cut uh, later on in the cut to kind of blend it in. But I like having that little bit of extra weight in the back. It gives me a nice shape on my men's cuts. Um, so just a, a nice little tip there for you guys. Now I'm going to work the opposite side. What I would normally do is ask my guest or, or the guy in my chair, does he like that length before I move on to the opposite side? Just make sure that I don't have to do the haircut twice um, at the very end. So just finishing up, you can see that angle, just making sure that you keep that clipper running up the head and then out, which is gonna build up the weight right around the crown. Now I'm gonna go in with my Andis. Uh, this is a cordless T trimmer. I like using the T trimmer because it makes it easy to work around the ear. So it gives you that little extra length on the blade to um, work around the ear so that the clipper doesn't get in the way. So we're just gonna go through and fine tune. The reason this is a businessman's haircut is because it's nothing, it's not too tight to the head. You could have it that way if you wanted to. You could take this a little bit tighter. Um, but I like just having it a more lived in look. Same reason I'm gonna go around the bottom here and kind of round off the edges. I wanna follow the hairline. So I'm not trying to create too much of a square look in the back. This is again, a way that you could customize the haircut to fit your guy. Maybe he likes it more square in the back. But I like to just kind of round off those edges, make a real nice natural hairline Line. and then here's where we're gonna start working into the top you can see where that weight line is so I let down my first little triangle section and now I'm gonna blend that into the sides and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work diagonal back which is gonna allow the hair to kind of flow off of the face um, 
but I'm going to work straight out from the head. And then as I work up t more towards the parietal ridge, I start to drop my elevation. What that's going to do, we all know, is build up that weight line um, and allow the hair. So using that diagonal back uh, parting and then low elevation gives me a weight line that flows back along the head shape. So one thing I really want you guys to focus on is allowing the head shape to create your weight for you or just being aware of the head shape and what it's doing and how much weight it's creating. Because the more I bring up from this section, the more I move up on the head and keep that low elevation, the heavier it's getting because of the way that the head is curving. So I'm using the head shape to create the weight. Now, if they had a really thick density um, hair, then as I worked up the head, I would probably want to do a higher elevation because it, my weight would be too heavy in the haircut. So you've got to be aware of how much density the guest has and the head shape um, as you're cutting. So now, this is my favorite part. We're creating a blend right into the recession point. But what I'm doing is using a stationary guide and keeping that heaviest point towards the tip of my fingers. So what's happening is it's building um, extra length towards the back, towards the parting of the hair. So, and with that extra weight gives you a little bit more height and density in the top of the head. So we wanted to kind of kick up um, the hair so it stays back but then blends on the side. That's what separates this from kind of that normal disconnected haircut that you're seeing nowadays. Uh, this is what makes it more business friendly because it has that blend on the side. So keeping that blend, you can see how it blends in, but then that kick of longer hair on the very top, which he can slick back or slick over, and it fits really nice if you're wearing a suit or um, any kind of business attire, or um, you can mess it up and wear it however you want uh, in your day-to-day -day life. So finishing up the haircut with a little bit of point cutting to blend the back and then I go in with my blow dryer. Now a lot of guys don't use a blow dryer but I'm telling you now if you're not a hairdresser and you're watching this trying to get ideas for your next haircut at the salon or the barber shop, blow drying is the key to creating your style. If you want to have a style that stays all day, you have to use the heat from the blow dryer to get it the shape that you want. So you push the hair in the direction that you want it to go and then um, you use the product just to hold it there. So you can see, I haven't put any product in this uh, mannequin's hair yet, but I've used the heat. Now I'm going in with my Bricado Carve, which is one of my favorite products. It's a texture cream or texture icing, they call it. Um, and I just use fingertip of that. I start by kind of working it into the sides, then through the top, um, slowly applying the product throughout. But just make sure, if you're a hairdresser watching this, which you probably are, um, make sure you coach your guys on this because this is something that a lot of guys are afraid of a blow dryer, but it really does make a style count. And those of you that are looking to get good Instagram photos and things like that, blow drying it exactly where you want it, then applying the product is the key to getting that good picture. Um, the the finishing touches are what it's all about and those little details. I use the Bricado Maximum Hold Hairspray to get my final look in there and to hold it all day. And that is the haircut. Hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know what you think. All right, guys, if you like this video, then run on over to fsesocial.com. That is our social media website and app. So you can sign up and let me know in the app how much you like the video. Also, let me know in the comments below. And if you made it this far, I always love hearing uh, that. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video.